want more opportunities to learn about different communities in our city. We would also like more support for LGBTQ plus young people. We want more awareness of discrimination so that all groups of children feel welcome around the city and we also want public transport to be cleaner and more welcoming. We are the Newcastle City Council Voluntary Sector Representatives for the badge, UNICEF badge, uh, Equal and Included. So with the Equal and Included, we're going to be working with a range of different organisations from schools, police to the local transport system. And the badge is about sort of working with the partner organisations to make sure that children and young people feel that welcome in our city, that they have access to a range of opportunities to grow and develop, and also that they're free from discrimination. And we found out in the discovery phase that children wanted to know more about the communities that actually live in their city. So these could be faith communities, non-faith communities, they just want time to understand and to also take part and connect. We also found out that children wanted to learn about discrimination. What is it that enables them to feel much more welcomed and not feel that they um, stand out or are different? There's some, um, a lot more unity. And we also found out that we wanted to look at opportunities for LGBTQ plus community to again feel part of this and how can children and young people find out more and feel welcome and accepted. And finally, the children told us about the, um, the transport, that they would like affordable transport and transport that suits their times. When they get out of school, they can hop on a bus to go to something that's cultural, something in different parts of the city. How can we make this happen? So what we've done is we've been speaking to a range of different organisations across the Newcastle and we are going to work together with schools to have a look at some of their policies and to see which the best practice and how schools can work to make a safe environment for the LGBT community. We're also planning to organise a number of events where children again in a safe environment can learn from each other, speak to each other and most importantly while having fun over the summer holidays. We've also been talking to the Nexus Transport System to see how we can make changes again to support what the children and young people have been telling us. So we're going to be working with the police, we're going to be working with Nexus, we're going to be working with schools, we're going to be working with arts organisations, we're going to work with um, cultural settings, we're going to be working with local communities, a whole range of people yes. and hopefully just create new networks and excitement for this city.